Hi, it's Stuffed Cabbage Adventures and today we are exploring a very unique neighborhood here in Budapest. Now at the moment we are at the Keleti railway station and most probably if you're coming to Hungary with a train, you'll probably end up here or maybe at another train station. But if you do, then you'll be going towards that direction because that's where the city center is and most of the tourist attractions. But today we are actually going the complete opposite way and we will be looking at some very interesting and unique buildings that you don't find in the city center. So come and join us today on this adventure. Oh, and at the end we'll probably eat something very good, so stick around and check out what we're gonna eat tonight. So this first building that we're going to check out has a very special decoration right in its garden. And look at it, it's a lion. But the fun fact about this lion is that it's actually a copy of another one and the owner of the original actually sued the owner of this one. So this poor fellow here actually had to go on trial. Can you hear that? It's very nice to hear the birds and finally have some peace just walking around, checking out these nice buildings. This next one that we're going to see is very interesting for the wood that's on the house because normally these details you'll see on houses in the Alps but this one is not on a mountain this one is in the middle of the city And now we have arrived to one of my favorite buildings here in the area. Guess why is that? Obviously because it has nothing to do with all the other buildings around here. It kind of looks like a Scottish castle, doesn't it? And there's actually a very special reason why that's the case. See, the person who has built this building fell in love with none other than the Guinness factory owner's daughter. And in order to look like some aristocrat, he wanted to make something like this that made him look like rich. And in the end it actually worked because Father Guinness basically gave his blessing to the marriage. This next one that we will check out has a very unique balcony because there's actually a statue of a woman waiting for her husband to arrive back from war Actually, that's not the reason why she's there. Someone who created the statue actually liked it from uh, France and they actually made it. But it's a, kind of a creepy sight. 
uh, if you're asking me. Now we have reached our final building that we're checking out today, which is this one right behind me. And what's really interesting about that dome right up there is that the reason why it's shaped like that is because the owner was actually a hat maker. So that is supposed to look like a hat. How funny is that? So that was our little adventure here at István Mező, if you want to visit the place. Hope you enjoyed this little walk that we took. And now it's going to be the time to grab something to eat. If you did enjoy this video, then consider subscribing to the channel and also liking it. Now let's check out what food are we going to eat. Boom, 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 boom. Actually sued the owner of this copycat. Cat is a lion, yeah? Why am I saying such stupid things? What am I gonna say? I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna say. And this next one that we are going to see is actually... And on this next one that we will actually see... No. Now on this next one that we're going to check out, the owner simply decided to make statues out of his own children. Yeah, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Ah, this is heavy. So that was our little adventure here today. I hope you guys enjoyed walking with us and maybe you're gonna come here eventually to check out these little nice buildings.